Hi, hello, I'm Marina, that one girl that likes to talk a lot about houseplants, and welcome to Millennial Planter. So I actually have to get a few stuff at the big box stores. I have to go to Pikes and get some soil amendment. I like to get my charcoal and my orchid bark from there. And then also I have to get another plank. So I'm going to go to Home Depot and do that. And I actually haven't been to Home Depot in a minute just because Lowe's is more convenient and closer to my house. So I usually go to Lowe's. But I figured uh, why not take you all along with me and do a little big box store browsing. Um, don't I don't see myself buying a plant. <laughs> just because uh, I don't need any more plants at the moment but we can window shop you know so let's go so I'm at Pikes now and I know Pikes isn't really uh, like really big all around the state at least I don't think so I mean all around the nation but the Pikes is basically a big box store it's like a Home Depot but they're especially like just for plants like it's like Home Depot has home improvement stuff and plants and gardening Pikes is just strictly gardening and plants and house plants so they have like a lot of good stuff like soil amendment stuff a lot of good terracotta pots they have a really good um selection of outdoor plants a lot of good trees a lot of good house plants just a lot of cool things i actually love pike's nurseries a lot uh and i come here pretty often because i have to get my soil stuff uh but yeah but we'll uh, take a look at how cool this place is if you've never been here Every time I enter Pikes, I seriously just want to buy everything because they have the cutest decorations and they have Halloween out. Are you are you freaking kidding me? You all know I love Halloween and oh my gosh, these little Day of the Dead figurines. Oh, they're so cute. Literally everything. But <laughs> along with like cute decor and stuff, they have a lot of fake plants, which is a uh, kind of embarrassing for a plant store no i'm just kidding a lot of people are into fake plants but they're also really expensive so you guys just buy real plants they're way cheaper even the bigger ones so we have like this little house area that they have with a lot of orchids that are so cute and every time i am so tempted to buy one i really think i can go down the orchid rabbit hole i mean just look at how cute these flowers are but i can't do it I cannot. Oh, and these little Cattleyas, right? Is that what this is? I'm pretty sure that's what this is. Look at that umbellata right there. Oh, so pretty. And then I was shocked that everything was fully stocked. What? Fully stocked shelves? This is insane. We have red marantas here, which I definitely need to get another maranta. And fuzzy petioles. Philodendron fuzzy petioles. Philodendron Florida greens. I've been seeing these fuzzy petioles everywhere, so I was shocked to see them. And then these beautiful alocasia silver dragons. We have some more beautiful orchids that have really thick growth. So growth. <laughs> I was actually shocked. And I don't really like bromeliads, but I can be into these. I like that pattern but other than that bromeliads are just kind of ugly alocasia polys bleh. and these cool little zebra plants and just like a lot of random plants that aren't really good house plants <laughs> but they're still kind of pretty and then we have some succulents over here lots of cute arrangements arrangements that actually work well together not like when you go to Home Depot and Lowe's and yeah look at this rickrack cactus like these things were massive insane I low-key kind of want to go and get one but I can't because I already have a rickrack cactus but aren't these so beautiful absolutely obsessed then we have some just string of tears and a lot of little baby cacti and succulents I'm always tempted to buy something here especially this big cacti that they have i always forget the name of it but just look at this i swear every time i come here i double back on this because it is just so beautiful 
absolutely stunning and they actually have a really nice selection of cacti and succulents it does vary a lot but i like it you all know, i'm going down the euphorbia cacti world and <laughs> i don't know they have these little pitcher plants and venus fly traps that i kind of want to get but i don't want to get because i'm horrible with carnivorous plants and another really cute cacti cactus thing some lifesaver cactus blooming anthurium I always forget that those things are anthuriums. And this beautiful, I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure this is an anthurium. Maybe it's a philodendron, but the plants that they have here are insanely massive. This ficus teneki, ficus altissima, just absolutely stunning specimens. And this huge, the matophyllum bipinetum phylum, something like that. You guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and the cutest little spider plant bloom. I was obsessed with this bloom i've never really seen spider plant flowers and they're so adorable this philodendron giganteum is just absolutely stunning i mean this thing was massive i would love to see where somebody would put this in their house if they were to get this and another huge thematophyllum and then we enter the sea of <laughs> monsteras but you know i had to look at this mykins first kind of wanted to get one but no I do not do Mykins anymore. Me and Mykins do not get along. Beautiful neon pothos. And then the sea of Monsteras, y'all. I love Monstera Deliciosa so much. And you already know I have to check for variegation. I'm always checking for a sport variegated Monstera and I can never find one. And this beautiful Prince of Orange that is so stunning and so orange. We have some Monstera Adansonii here. Lots of really beautiful plants, a really cute Raphidophora tetrasperma. We have this really cute, well, we have this really nice Monstera that's just stunning. And then this cute little thing. I always forget the name of this plant, but I want one so bad because they're just the cutest little things. And these Monstera dubias, I literally stopped in my tracks when I saw this. Look at this. I've never seen a shingling plant here at Pikes. So to see these, and they're so massive, mind you, that new growth is a lot smaller, but they already got you started. It, it was insane. And to see lush trailing pots of string of hearts like this is unheard of. Then we enter Hoya Land, which is my favorite. Yes, I thought about getting this variegated Wayetii, even though I already had one. It was only $15, and it's so cute. Hoya uh, variegated Wayetii is actually like a really slow grower. I kind of want to go back and get one. Then we have Hoya macrophylla or Hoya latifolia out of variegation. Yeah, it's been reclassified. Hoya crimson princess and these vanilla orchid vanillas, something like that, uh, for $50. Is that a good price? Let me know. These were actually pretty big specimens. I feel like that's a good price, but I've never seen these out and about so i think that was pretty good um then we have lots of beautiful ferns i'm always tempted to get a fern but i'm not gonna do that to myself and check out this beautiful exotica exotica is such a good classic and then they had more climbing ones i was shocked about this too uh that was actually really cool to see more pothos on top of pothos and aglionema Ugh, i hate aglionema Aglionema. <laughs> and look at how freaking cute these baskets of staghorn ferns are. These little Vanda baskets. And then they also had this massive staghorn fern. Like the frond was easily the size of my arm. Like just, just look at this. Look at this. It's insane. Just in a hanging basket. I was shocked. I've never seen a staghorn fern that big before. They also have this little table of like little plugs that make really cute plants. Some ficus. That doesn't make a good plant. Don't get that one. Peperomia. Y'all, I'm really thinking about starting my peperomia collection again. A beautiful lemon lime philodendron. Some dracaena. And some ugly aglionema. <laughs> I'm sorry to be hating on your aglionemas if you love them. But how cute is this little fern? And this was the clearance section. They had these orchids. I think they were $15, $14.99. And I honestly, I would have gotten one if it was cheaper. I just feel like $14, like that's not a good clearance. Some other spider plants with lots of beautiful babies. I think they're so cute. I love spider plants so much. And then just some more Dracaena and other massive, big, beautiful plants. Oh my gosh. And then they had these Hoya Compactas. 
you guys i wanted one so bad i love hoya compactas oh, there's the allocation maharani but hoya compactas are like one of my top favorite hoyas and mine grows so slow these variegated ones are you freaking kidding me by the way that was perlite that wasn't a mealy bug i really want to get it okay. i'll come back for you i love compactas so much and then we enter the land of Calathea, Gapersha. These Orbifolias are $20, which isn't a bad price, especially for their size. And I thought about also getting one. I'm not buying plants, but I thought about getting a lot. <laughs> uh, Calathea medallion and lots of snake plants. They had variegated ones. And then they also had these baby whale fins. And this one was for $60. I felt like that one was a little bit much. But there are like, what, four or five babies in this one pot. Do you guys think that's a lot? Let me know in the comments. And yeah, just lots of other snake plants, some good classic. Remember when the moonshine came out? I remember. And then the real reason why I even came here for orchid bark and horticultural charcoal. So I was actually really impressed with Pike's selection of plants. Um, this year, they really stepped up their game and they have really, uh, they really know what's trending. That's what I should say there. Although a lot of those plants were pretty expensive. Um, I feel like you can definitely find stuff cheaper online, but then it's the whole like buying it locally than buying it and getting it shipped to you. I don't know, whatever have you, but they had a really good selection. I was surprised to see those fuzzy petioles there. I'm actually wondering if I'm gonna see those fuzzy petioles here at Home Depot. And I actually just got here now. I'm really nervous to find this wood. Uh, just, you know, social anxiety things. I know it's not very Gemini of me to have social anxiety, but it's been a lifelong thing <laughs> uh, but anyways let's go inside see what kind of plants they have see what kind of pots i do need a pot still um the terracotta pots at pikes are a little bit more pricier than here at home depot so i just waited and came to home depot hopefully i can find one i still need to find a pot for a snake plant that i have so let's head on inside now we enter home i mean home home depot why can't i ever remember those names i always get them confused and this was also fully stocked uh apparently thursdays are the days of stocking in my city so check out this new leaf i i had to check it out i love monstera leaves new leaves so much and yes this is actual footage of me checking for a sport variegated monstera because it is gonna happen one day i am telling you guys it's gonna happen soon even if i have to go to florida then we have um once again a lot of blooming anthurium and another really beautiful peperomia i think this is the piccolo banda maybe not and this horrible excuse for a plant i'm sorry you guys this plant makes a horrible house plant don't get it if you have uh thought about it some calathea some aglonema ravens philodendron birkins and this okay i'm actually really attracted to this plant this is a, I, I don't even know how to pronounce the name but they don't make good house plants so don't do it to yourself <laughs> we have some fiddle leaf figs we had one that was just trying so hard to be a tree I appreciate the effort, Fiddles. And once again, the land of Sansevierias, or I should say Justinas. This bird of paradise, oh, it, it needed help. I, I kind of wanted to rescue it, but I don't have space. <laughs> so sad. And yeah, Parla Palms. Once again, another plant that is not a good house plant. Uh, kudos to you if you can keep one alive, though. Like, that's honestly really impressive. That's, that's a flex. And then, like, what is this arrangement? What, a, a peace lily, a dracaena, a polka dot plant, and a croton? Uh, what? Uh, what? <laughs> that, those don't work together. And then lots of tiny plants that, once again, don't make good house plants. Aside from the pothos, the pothos is great, but all of these will just die in a newbie's house. And, um, yeah. But, you know, the cactus section is where I was most drawn to. <laughs> They just had the cutest cacti, honestly. Like, look at how cute these little guys are. Oh, I should go back for one. They're just so adorable. 
and uh yeah i i don't know the names of any of these cacti so if you know let me know but i did successfully get my wood and i got it cut so i i i felt accomplished so my consensus on home depot plants i prefer lowe's because with lowe's they have like a lot of cute things they also have a lot of cute pots and they have like a new line of like these super cute pots with plants so plant wise i definitely would go to lowe's but i want to know what it's like in your area is your home depot better or is your lowe's better i feel like home depot just has like a lot of basic plants which is a good thing but i don't know i just feel like i'm more drawn to the basic plants at lowe's than at home depot getting the wood was very overwhelming i'm not even gonna lie uh just because there's so much going on and there's so many options and uh I was on the phone with my friend the whole time because he works at Home Depot, so shout out to Thick Potter. Thanks for helping me, Matthew. <laughs> yeah, but I got the I got the wood. I got um, an eight foot cedar pole fence post and I got it cut in half so I have two four feet poles and I think those would be perfect for my plant and four foot is a nice height for a plant to be I'm gonna put my monstera esqueleto on it actually and I think once it gets to four feet I'm just gonna have to cut it um because I don't know how I'm gonna attach two planks together so I think I'm just gonna use it for two different plants anyways I'm jabbering on I have a whole playlist of an experiment I'm doing which is moss poles versus planks yeah I'll leave that down below if you want to check that out but anyways um i think i'm gonna head to lowe's real quick uh just because i don't know why not might as well check out their plants while we're there too and then i can show you the difference between my home depot and my lowe's but at the end of the day pikes is always going to be better because they definitely have like a real curated selection of plants that's really good and ideal for like all plant parents you know so now we are entering the Lowe's garden center in my area and you can already tell look at how much better of a presentation this is i just feel so much more welcomed in this garden center and look at how freaking cute these hanging pots are these would make i mean it's all the pots really that they have like all of their plants except for the big ones are in really cute pots they kind of have an aesthetic for everybody a little bit more on the pricier side um but the plants for the most part are in decent shape it was actually interesting to see this orbifolia here i think it ended up being like 18 dollars um which is cheaper than pikes and you get a cute pot they also have decorative seasonal pots that skull is just everything totally my aesthetic <laughs> and these little cute air plant things that i would get like i would totally buy something like this some cute ponytail palms and a very provocative um plant uh yeah uh i'm 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 a kid i'm i'm sorry <laughs> and once again some more really cute pots i really like how they're kind of all centered i really think that would be cute on uh on a window or in my bay window where i have all my hanging plants and they have once again like the basic plants that home depot does but i just think they look more appealing here at lowe's and you guys i was shocked when i saw this specimen what i heard somebody on tiktok talking about these vanda orchids and i was shocked that i saw it is this not just absolutely incredible if i knew how to take care of it i would have taken it home but wow 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 a stunning so this is what i was talking about you could see the orbifolia here and the price was i think 18.98 and you get a cute pot with it that pot is super cute and i think this is like their new version of the trending tropicals and once again, some really cute little pots that just, I don't know, they're just adorable. They have such character. I would definitely put this around my plant room. And then we have the clearance aisle that is very sad. Uh, sometimes I like to browse in here, though, for cute pots. Or maybe I can save a plant, but uh, I, I didn't want to chance it. And there was no pots that were, like, super cute to me. But, yeah, there we have it. That was the first time I've ever been to all three stores in one day, and that was very interesting to see, especially with the price comparisons. Makes you think. <laughs> Anyways, thank you all so much for joining me on this day of shopping, kind of. <laughs> um, I did end up putting my Monstera Esqueleto on 
it's plank and it looks so cute. This is um, a four foot plank. So it was one long eight foot board and I ended up cutting it in half while I had the people, the employees cut it in half for me. And it's coming out with a new leaf. So I know that it'll have um, an aerial root attached with that new leaf and hopefully soon it'll start to climb this board. And if you don't know, cedar is just a great option because it is rot resistant. Doesn't mean it's never gonna rot, but it's a lot more tolerant to water, which is perfect for plants, obviously. However, I do wish I had sandpaper. I thought I had some, but I don't think we do have any. So the back is really rough. So I kind of have to be careful. I already stabbed myself with a piece of wood on my finger, so that's been fun. Anyways, if you all have stuck around this far and you're not subscribed yet, go ahead, hit the subscribe button. I know you like plants, you watch this video. I talk a lot about plants on my channel and I would love for you to join us, help propagate this community with me. With all that being said, I hope you all are staying safe, staying happy and healthy, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.